Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and I'm here with your weekly Divine Masculine Energy check-in. We've just had that full moon in Libra, which was a super moon on Sunday. The energy will still be around for the next few days. Very intense energies. So, you know, don't be surprised if you're feeling some deep, deep emotions. So look at the masculine energy. So we've got suffering in silence. Accelerated motion, third eye chakra, fulfillment of wishes, mental conflict, conflict and defeat, transformation, sacrifice, harmony, wisdom, destiny. And triumphant success. So we're going to clear out, although this is a psychic tarot, I use choose to use it like an oracle at the moment, okay? So we've got suffering in silence. So your masculine could be, you know, this, this reading is for people in separation, no contact. Um, so there's, you know, a lot going on. They're not actually communicating anything to you. There could be a lot going on in their lives right now. But they're not communicating this to you in any way. So why is suffering in silence here? <clears throat> We've got eight of cups. So a lot of you feminines, you could have walked away. There's a feminine there. You could have walked away from this connection from your masculine. And they've not expressed how much this hurt them, how much this actually affected them, okay? We've got accelerated motion. So this is like trans this is like um forward motion, forward movement, I feel. There's going to be some sort of change, some sort of forward movement here. We've got the tower. Yeah, the tower comes in. You know, spirit can bring in that tower to shake up our worlds. You know, if we're stuck in a rut, if we're not moving forward, if we're going in the wrong direction. And this will come in, or this has come in, to shake up your masculine's world, okay? Something that wasn't built on a firm foundation will collapse, basically. Whatever that could be, a relationship a work matter, a home matter. So then we've got third eye chakra. So I feel he's really tapping into his intuition right now. He's really opening up. His third eye might be opening up now. And he's really tapping into that inner wisdom, that inner guidance. We've got queen of coins energy. So some new feminines could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, he sees you in that energy though. You're somebody that's kind, caring, nurturing, you could also be very highly intuitive as well. Somebody that would make a good wife, a good mother. They see you in that p potential. We've got fulfilment of wishes here. So this is them getting clear on what it is they truly desire. What is it they truly want in their life? And we've got the eight of coins energy. So they're working hard here, I feel, to really build up their finances, to really have that financial stability behind them. We've got mental conflict. So, yeah, I think they're very much um, between heart and head. You know, this this confusion. They need to clarify, you know, their thoughts, their, their feelings. They need to get into that balance with those emotions. And then we've got three of coins. So I feel they are wanting to work towards something here, um, work towards their goals. And, again, we've got conflict and depression. Uh, sorry, conflict and defeat. So something, they feel defeated about something here in their life. They felt they were in some sort of conflict. Maybe this was a previous connection they were in and they feel defeated about love. They feel that love's not for them. Take what resonates for you. Why is conflict and defeat here? Yeah, they felt burdened. We've got Ten of Wands energy. They felt very burdened in their life. They've had a lot going on. Um, but the good news is with that 10, they're ready to put down those burdens. They're really to, to lighten their load. And this is the start of a new beginning, a new cycle. And that's followed by transformation. So, yes, they are coming into a transformation. They're going through a transformation right now. So why is transformation here? <clears throat> Five of Cups. Because there was disappointment in love. As I said, it was like they gave up on love. You know, they didn't think that love was worth a shot. 
but I feel that they're, they're coming out of that feeling like that way and they felt love was like a sacrifice there was a sacrifice that had to be made but it doesn't have to be like that and there's a rainbow here okay so why is sacrifice here nine of wands yeah so they were standing their ground on this um feeling about not wanting a relationship not wanting to commit to love at all why is the nine of wands here we've got this emperor energy now so <clears throat> You know, we saw that your masculine is going through transformation. He's in that divine masculine energy now, okay? And he's wanting that reconnection. We've got harmony, which is like the lover's card, or this could be the six of cups card. He's wanting that reconnection. He's wanting that harmony in his life with his feminine here. So why is this card here, harmony? <clears throat> why is harmony here? We've got devil energy here. So maybe in the past there was codependency in this connection. There was addictions affecting this connection, drink or drugs or sex addictions. Why is the devil here? Page of coins. They're wanting to start afresh. They're wanting to make that, you know, start a new beginning here and put the past behind them. And we've got wisdom. Yeah, they've gained in wisdom. They've gained insight. We've got the sun there in the distance. They know what they want. They have gained that clarity and they know what they want. And they're understanding things a lot more now. Why is wisdom here? Three of Wands. Yeah, they're waiting for things to move forward. They're waiting for things to progress. And we've got destiny. They're feeling this is a destined connection here. Why is destiny here? Because you both feel this pull to each other all the time. Even in times of feeling apart, you're constantly on each other's minds, in your thoughts, in your feelings. We've got Queen of Wands energy. So he could see you in that energy, or you could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But again, you could be somebody who's got their own business. You're passionate, you're driven, you're sexy. You know, you attract a lot of attention and he's thinking that if he doesn't come forward, someone else will. And he wants that success with you. This is the like the Ace of Swords energy. He wants to come in with his truth and have that success with his feminine here. <clears throat> yeah, we got the Magician energy. So he's manifesting this. He's manifesting this to come back. And we've got the chariot energy. There will be movement forward. And we've got the ace of wands energy. So there will be a passionate new beginning, you know, if that's what you're wanting. So that's beautiful. So let's get some other messages about the masculine. So he's in that energy of self-love. He knows he's worthy of love now, okay? And he wants that for a start. He knows that life is what you make it. And he wants to go forward. In the past, he was closed-minded. He wasn't open to new things or doing things. And he's had that enlightenment. He's got that wisdom. Yeah, again, he's he was fake. And also, he may be showing another side to himself, to other people. He wasn't being his authentic self. And he wants to be his authentic self. He wants to have that joy and happiness in his life. And he knows with his feminine, he can have that. And he's been thinking about it in a logical way. But he's, he's got, in, you know, he needs to get into those heart space feelings. So he's in those feelings, but he's thinking about it in a logical way before he takes any action. He's in a peaceful place right now after all that conflict. And he's remembering those times that you shared together. And he wants that closeness. And he feels this intense connection to his feminine. So what else does he want to say? I want to kiss you intensely and rip off all your clothes. <laughs> You stay on my mind and I want you and I yearn to have you in my bed. I don't want you to date anyone else. You are mine. You make me so damn horny. Everything about you turns me on. And I have very dirty, kinky sexual dreams about you. So what else does he want to say? I brought you an engagement ring and I've been keeping it for the perfect time. I'm working on how I can clear this negative karma between us. So yeah, there's maybe some karma here. I am jealous, I admit it, you attract lots of attention and I feel intimidated by this. I worry there are others who love you and can offer you more than I can. So he still has a slight worry and esteem issue there. So let's give him some soul healing messages for the masculine. So we have now, live in the now, the past is gone, 
You cannot change it. The future is yet to be written. All we ever have is now. So make the most of now. So start living in the now, masculines. Be open-hearted. Do not close off your heart. Stay open-hearted. Balance. Find that balance within. The yin, the yang, the dark, the light. The positive, the negative. And in your life, work-life balance. Find what works for you. And heart. Heal your heart. Open your heart chakra. Be open to give and receive the highest energy of all. So messages for the heart there. And I think he is starting to open up to his feelings there. Okay. So there are your messages for this week. So sending you lots of love and many blessings. Take care.